There are many different types of whales in the water, but there are some whales you might not be aware of. You would get to learn about these unknown varieties of whales that exist on our blue planet. Are you aware that whales are one of the world's most iconic and fascinating animals? They live all over the planet, from deep waters to freshwater lakes. But a unique thing about them is that they are mammals. There are many different types of whales, but a few species you won't believe exist. Let's dive into the water and discover the 20 whales you won't believe exist. Number 20. Blue Whale The bodies of blue whales are typically long and thin. The name blue whale refers to its mottled blue-gray hue, which appears pale blue beneath the water. The modeling pattern can be utilized to distinguish individuals and is changeable. Although they frequently swim alone or in pairs, blue whales occasionally swim in small groups. Typically, they spend the summer months eating in polar waters, and as winter approaches, they make protracted migrations towards the tropical regions. While feeding and migrating, blue whales normally swim at a speed of about 5 miles per hour, while they are capable of short bursts of more than 20 miles per hour. It is believed that blue whales may be heard by other whales up to 1,000 miles distant in the proper oceanographic conditions since they are among the loudest animals on Earth. Releasing a sequence of pulses, groans, and moans. Along with their amazing hearing, scientists believe they employ these vocalizations to communicate and maybe sonar navigate the murky ocean depths. All oceans, excluding the Arctic, are home to blue whales. They typically move seasonally between breeding grounds in the winter and summer, but some data indicate that some individuals may not move at all. Distribution and mobility data vary by area, and migratory paths are poorly understood. Generally speaking, distribution is mostly influenced by food availability, since krill are their primary food source, they can be found in waters where krill are concentrated. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Gray Whales the parasites and other creatures that frequently coat gray whales give them the appearance of crusty ocean rocks on their snouts and backs. The whale forages by kicking small things off the seafloor using its snout. The baleen, a comb-like strainer of plates in the upper jaw, wow. then filters these morsels. An 18-inch chunk of gray whale baleen, often known as whalebone, has a consistency similar to a fingernail. In the past, whalebone was used to create umbrella ribs and women's corsets. One of the biggest migrators in the animal realm is the gray whale. Some of these giants swim up to 12,430 miles round trip from their summer habitat in Alaskan waters to warmer waters off the coast of Mexico. They do this in groups called pods. In the warmer, shallower southern waters, whales reproduce and spend the winter there. Other gray whales are found in the waters close to Korea. Gray whale migration is frequently observed off the west coast of North America because, like all whales, they must surface to breathe. These whales were formerly the subject of heavy hunting, and by the term of the 20th century, they faced a real threat of going extinct. International law now protects gray whales, and their population has increased. The gray whale was removed from the list of endangered species in the United States in 1994. Number 18. Keiko, the orca. Keiko was two years old when she was taken from Iceland in 1979, before being sold to Reno Aventura in Mexico City in 1985. In Mexico, Keiko regularly entertained the public while residing in a warm, artificially salted water chlorinated tank designed for dolphins. Around this time, Keiko was hired by Winter Brothers to play the lead role in the 1992 picture Free Willy. To start repatriation, Keiko came to the Oregon Coast Aquarium in 1996. He started consuming live fish, dwelt in a marine enclosure, and put on 2,000 pounds. Over a million visitors visited Keiko during this time. The aquarium altered its mind and decided to not give up Keiko after observing the flow of revenue. Keiko was eventually released after some back and forth and transported to Iceland in 1998. 
In Iceland's Kletsvik Bay, Keiko resided in a sea pen. He was taught how to catch live fish and given a chance to go on ocean walks without his pen. Despite the researcher's best efforts, his family's history was not revealed by acoustic or genetic tests. Keiko was observed mingling with other killer whales and catching live fish. Number 17. The Thames Whale on the 19th of January in 2006, a female northern bottlenose whale measuring 6 meters in length swam into the River Thames in London. It was quite a distance away from its habitat in the murky waters of the North Atlantic, where it had been living. Since 1913, the researchers working for the museum have been given preferential access to the dead whales, dolphins, and porpoises that wash up on the shores of the British Isles. Richard got a call from the Thames Coast Guard almost as soon as the whale was sighted, and they informed him that they were on their way. The whale, whose length is estimated to be between 3 and 4 meters, approximately 10 to 13 feet, became separated from its normal habitat. This species is extremely endangered because it can only be found in the far North Sea. It's a young whale, and it is in very precarious condition, and the fate of its life is up in the air right now. According to the National and Oceanic Atmospheric Administration of the United States, these whales have the potential to reach a maximum weight of approximately 40,000 kilograms and have an average lifespan of approximately 50 years. When you got a better look at it, you saw that it was a whale and learned that it was one of those animals that swim in pods. The whale appeared to have suffered some injury since it started rolling over onto its side and flailing around. Number 16. The Loneliest Whale in the World The loneliest whale in the world is the 52 Hertz whale. He coexists with other whales, but he also stands out from them. This whale sings at a pitch that none other can hear. If they do react, it will likely be with mumbled noise. It's impossible to communicate meaningfully. The 52 Hertz whale, often known as 52 to the scientists, may be the most elusive whale in the world. Since a top secret program in the US Navy first detected his distinctive 52 Hertz frequency in 1992, he has captivated experts. Most fin whales sing or communicate at about 20 Hertz frequency. These songs are audible only to humans to a limited degree. According to journalist Andrew Revkin, he speaks at a higher pitch or immediately above the lowest note on a tuba. Although biologically comparable to other whales, he has a particular frequency. Although he may not be audible to other whales, they are likely unable to grasp what he is saying. According to scientists, he may be a hybrid whale, a combination of blue and fin whales. 52 sounds like this, but at a speed that is 10 times faster than human hearing. Number 15. Tilikum. According to SeaWorld Orlando, Tilikum, likely the most well-known orca in the world, has passed away. He was the major topic of the popular documentary Blackfish, and the subsequent backlash over his narrative led SeaWorld to stop breeding orcas in captivity due to the controversy. According to a statement released by SeaWorld, Tilikum's age was believed to be 36 years old. Considered advanced age for a confined killer whale, he confronted extremely serious health problems and their condition had been deteriorating for months. The orca passed away while its trainers and veterinary staff were present. An autopsy must be performed to ascertain the official cause of death. Nonetheless, he had had a lung infection caused by bacteria that is chronic and difficult to treat. According to the Associated Press, Tilikum was 22 feet long and weighed more than 11,000 pounds. Born somewhere in the ocean off the coast of Iceland, he spent his whole life in captivity, first at the now defunct sea land of the Pacific and later at SeaWorld Orlando, where he put on shows for audiences. He was a productive breeder responsible for more than 20 offspring. Number 14. Real Life Moby Dick the allegorical novel Moby Dick, or The Whale, about Captain Ahab's pursuit to kill a giant white whale, was based on real-life occurrences. Moby Dick was written in 1852. Herman Melville, born in 1819, spent his childhood years amid the height of American dominance and the whaling industry, roughly coinciding with the years between 1820 and the beginning of the Civil War. Melville successfully achieved his goal of having his work included in the American literary canon by tying his experiences as a whaler with his historical facts. It is believed that the story of George Pollard, who had previously served as captain of the whaler Essex, greatly impacted young Melville. A sperm whale and the Essex were involved 
involved in a collision earlier today. At the same time, it was the middle of a two-year whaling expedition that took them across the Pacific. Pollard and his crew quickly abandoned the ship. They had located thousands of miles from land when they escaped in leaky lifeboats to begin a harrowing ordeal that resulted in disease, famine, and cannibalism. One of the few to make it out alive, Pollard was offered a second shot to skipper another whaler called the Two Brothers. But after 18 months at sea, Pollard caused the ship known as the Two Brothers to go aground and sink at what is now known as the Papahanao Mokuakea National Monument, which is located in the Pacific Ocean. Number 13. Beluga Narwhal Hybrid a trio of odd crustaceans with front fins like belugas and tails resembling narwhals were shot by an Inuit man in West Greenland 30 years ago while he was whale hunting for livelihood. The so-called unicorns of the sea. He rescued one of the skulls and hung it outside of his shed since he was perplexed by the strange creatures. A scientist in the area a few years later noticed the skull and brought it to the Natural History Museum of Denmark. It was an odd specimen, bigger than a beluga or narwhal whale skull but with teeth that appeared somewhere between. Through a translator, the hunter described the animal's uniform gray bodies and peculiar teeth, which were noticeable from his boat. The whale may have been a beluga and narwhal hybrid, but scientists could not confirm this. According to Lorenzen, whether the trio from the middle of the 1980s is the only hybrid out there is impossible to determine. She speculated that hybridization is particularly not very common. She contacted other whale researchers, but none had ever encountered such a hybrid. Furthermore, narwhal and beluga genetic data indicate that two species separated 5 million years ago and haven't crossed appreciable quantities for at least 1.25 million years. Number 12. Old Tom Old Tom originally surfaced in the 1860s, but the Davidsons, a family that had relocated to Eden for whaling, were the ones who were most familiar with him. Up to his demise in 1930, Old Tom was traced through three generations. He was a member of Hookie's Subpod, which included a total of seven orcas. However, during hunts in the Eden area, about 30 animals in all had been seen. 26 of them had been given names. The Davisons were very familiar with Tom, especially George Davidson, who was the descendant of Alexander Davidson, a Scottish immigrant. According to family stories, old Tom enjoyed playing practical jokes and participating actively in hunts. The town would be on edge and watch the spectacle from the coast while these hunts of baleen whales, particularly humpbacks, were conducted. A groove developing on the right side of his teeth Old Tom passed away from malnutrition brought on by an abscess. Tom's teeth had been lost and harmed after interfering with the hunt commanded by George Davidson and his companion John Logan, according to a recollection from seven years before his death. Number 11. Psy Whales Psy Whales prefer temperate, deep offshore seas to other great whale species and are rarely spotted near land. Psy whales typically avoid chilly water and do not migrate as far toward the polar waters in the summer as other rorqueral whales. The huge rorquerals use this strategy to avoid competition for food supplies despite having various feeding locations, habitats, and prey preferences. Psy's skim do not lunge and gulp like other rorquerals. Instead, they eat on copepods, zooplankton, and other small invertebrates. Psy whales have fewer and relatively shorter ventral neck grooves, ranging from 30 to 60, reaching halfway between the flippers and the navel. There are between 300 and 400 baleen plates on each side of the jaw, with the largest measuring 75 to 80 centimeters. It's common to encounter psy whales in groups of 2 to 5. They have one of the fastest swimming speeds of any cetacean including dolphins and whales, exceeding 50 kilometers per hour, 31 miles per hour, over a distance that is short. The blowholes and dorsal fin are frequently visible above the water when slow-moving say whales surface. When feeding, say whales frequently stay visible just below the surface between breaths and dive and surface in extremely predictable sequences. Number 10. Migaloo the Incredible Whale Migaloo, regarded as the most well-known humpback whale in the world, may be the only adult humpback whale still all white. This amazing whale was discovered for the first time in 1991 by volunteers taking part in a whale count off the coast by Byron Bay, Queensland. Over five kilometers away, a telescope was used to capture the first image of Migaloo. 
He may not have been entirely white because it was hazy. In Harvey Bay, Queensland, in 1993, researchers from the Pacific Whale Foundation came upon this magnificent white whale. We were able to determine the whale was all white during this encounter, and in 1998 we captured a recording of the whale singing. A characteristic unique to male humpback whales, Megaloo's gender was further established by genetic testing performed in 2004 by researchers at Southern Cross University. This corroborated what we already knew because Megaloo had been heard singing, and only male humpback whales make music. The fact that he is entirely white is an evident attribute. Still, we also take advantage of physical characteristics like his dorsal fin on his back being somewhat hooked in the shape of his tail flukes, which have spiked edges along the bottom trailing side. Since Migaloo Jr. does not exhibit a little black dot on the dorsal surface of his left fluke, leucism rather than albinism is the most plausible diagnosis for this whale. Number 9. The Greyhounds of the Sea, Fin Whale the fin whale, which inhabits all oceans, is the second largest creature to have ever been identified as having lived on Earth. On their lower jaws, they feature a distinctive asymmetry in coloring. Fin whales get their name from the noticeable hooked dorsal fin they have close to their tail. The back is dark brown or gray with gray stripes beneath the blowhole. The lower right jaw is white like the belly and the area under the pectoral fins. The second third of the body has a falciform or triangular shaped dorsal fin around 60 centimeters long. At the surface or depths of up to 180 meters, copepods and krill make up practically all of the diet of fin whales. Depending on the time of year and the area, fin whales can also be opportunistic feeders and feed on capelins, immature herrings, and squids. During the feeding season, fin whales devour roughly 3 tons of food daily. Around 6 to 10 years for females and 8 to 12 years for males mark the beginning of sexual maturity. Breeding and calving occur at the end of the fall and the beginning of winter for the northern hemisphere. Calves are born to females approximately once every 2 to 3 years, and the gestation period lasts about a year. A newborn measures about 6 meters when they are born, however adult fin whales can be encountered in pairs. Fin whales are solitary cetaceans. It is a species that migrates from colder feeding grounds to the temperate waters of the equatorial region for breeding and nursing. Number 8. Beluga Spy Whale when a mystery beluga whale appeared off the coast of Norway dressed in a Russian harness, he was labeled a spy. Even though little more about the animal's past is known now, advocates are worried about his welfare in the future. One advocacy group led by an American filmmaker is pushing Norway to approve the establishment of a sanctuary. At the end of April 2019, a blob of white sped past fishermen on the islands of Engoya and Ralsoya, marking the whale's first known sighting in Norway. Norwegian marine specialists think they have discovered a white whale that the Russian Navy trained as part of a program to employ underwater creatures as a special operations unit. A white beluga whale wearing an odd harness started bothering fishermen's boats last week, according to fishermen in the waters near Inga's little Norwegian fishing community. If we're turning beluga whales into weapons, humanity has lost its way. Marine experts speculated that the whale may have received military-grade training from nearby Russia due to its peculiar behavior, which included actively seeking out the boats and attempting to pull straps and ropes from their sides. It was also wearing a tight harness that appeared to be for a camera or weapon. The words Equipment of St. Petersburg were written inside the harness, which has since been taken off the whale. Number 7. North Atlantic Right Whale According to the most current estimated estimate, fewer than 350 North Atlantic right whales may be left in existence. This places the North Atlantic right whale as one of the world's most endangered great whale species. There are two further species of right whales, the North Pacific right whale, which lives in the southern right whale, North Pacific Ocean, which lives in the southern hemisphere. These species can be found in the ocean. Right whales are baleen whales that filter vast amounts of ocean water through their baleen plates, which operate as a sieve to feed on copepods. Right whales are found in all oceans worldwide, small crustaceans. By the beginning of the 1890s, commercial whalers had almost completely wiped off the North Atlantic right whale population due to their killing methods. The fact that they continued to float after being slain contributed to the origin of their name, and the whalers believed them to be the proper whales to shoot. 
Because their population levels have never been rebounded to where they were before whaling, this species continues to face the biggest threat from humanity, even though whaling is no longer a threat to them. The two most common ways for right whales in the North Atlantic to meet their untimely end are via being involved in shipwrecks or becoming caught in fishing gear. Increases in ocean noise caused by human activities are another cause for concern because this noise has the potential to interfere with right whale communication and enhance the animal's level of stress. Number 6. Bride's Whale One of the Rorquals, or big whales, bride's whales are members of the baleen whale family. They have a cream belly and are dark gray. They closely resemble the sci whale and have very sleek bodies. Compared to the sci whale, bride's whales have one additional ridge in front of their blowholes. A double row of baleen plates is present on them. The eyes and skull are enormous. Positioned deep down in the back is the dorsal fin. Small and narrow flippers are on them. Besides moms and calves who frequently feed together, the bride's whale typically opts to graze alone. While individuals living offshore may feed in groups of up to 30, those living close to the coast may only eat in groups of 15 or fewer. One more animated rorqual species is the bride's whale, which frequently breaches out of the water and routinely dives for one to two minutes to depths of 300 meters. Populations in coastal tropical seas remain the same throughout the year, whereas populations in subtropical waters only migrate sometimes, depending on prey movements. When these whales interact with one another, they can be incredibly noisy. They frequently emit moaning noises. Number 5. Omura's Whale Little is known about the relatively small baleen whale, the Omura's whale. Several sources previously referred to it as a diminutive, dwarf, or pygmy variant of bride's whale. With a dark gray left lower jaw and a white mandible patch on the right side, a white blaze, a dark eye stripe, a white interstriped wash, a white chevron on the back, pectoral fins with a white anterior border and inner surface, and flukes with a white ventral surface and black margins, it resembles the larger fin whale in appearance. Hence the alternate common names dwarf fin whale and little fin whale. Similar to fin whales, the Amora's whale has a reversal of the asymmetrical pigmentation of the lower jaw, with a white left gape and a dark right gape. Amora's whale behavior is little understood. Their blow is soft and low pitched. The dorsal fin normally doesn't become visible after the surface until the head and splash guard have vanished and they don't have a fluke when diving. Although they frequently cruise alone or in pairs, loose groups of up to a dozen whales have been spotted. The songs of Omura's whales are modified in amplitude. They sing their melody in about 9 seconds on average, followed by a 4 second tone call. These songs are played for up to 13 hours every 2-3 to three minutes. Even choruses may overlap as the Omura's whales sing. Number 4. Mink Whale the smallest of the Rorquals, mink whales, are part of the baleen or big whale family. They are among the most numerous Rorquals in the world, and their population is thought to be steady across nearly all of their range, especially when compared to other species of large whales. Populations of mink whales in the western part of the North Pacific and northern North Atlantic may have declined due to commercial whaling operations. But mink whales have benefited from less competition and more food supplies due to commercial whaling's overexploitation of other large whale species. He's mugging us. Oh my god. The common mink whale has a complicated taxonomy or categorization. The dwarf mink whale is currently considered an unidentified subspecies of the common mink whale and can be found in subtropical, temperate, and polar waters of the South Atlantic and South Pacific and the Indian Ocean. The North Pacific and the North Atlantic are the other two subspecies found in the Northern Hemisphere. Alaska natives only took a small fraction of the animals in the Eastern North Pacific for subsistence. The estimated mink whale population has recently been called into doubt, and it's probable that modern whaling and hunting have caused some stocks to become depleted. Number 3. Humpback Whale there are humpback whales in every ocean in the world, Megaterra, their Latin name translates to Great Wing of New England. 
It relates to their appearance off the coast of New England where European whalers first encountered them, and their enormous pectoral fins which can reach a length of 16 feet. They are known by the common name humpback due to their dark backs, light bellies, wrinkles on their throats, and a little hump in front of their dorsal fins. The world's waters are filled with the enchanting melodies of humpback whales, which are known to travel huge distances. These patterns of groans, growls, cries, and other sounds are highly intricate and frequently last for hours. Scientists are investigating these sounds to determine their meaning. Humpback whales are most likely to communicate with other individuals and enticed potential mates. It is known that humpback calves whisper to their moms. These baleen whales are found close to coastlines and consume plankton, small fish, and krill, which are very few organisms resembling shrimp. The summer feeding grounds of humpback whales are located closer to poles, and their winter breeding grounds are closer to the equator. This annual migration takes place. Mothers and their young will often swim close to one another while making what appears to be romantic motions with their flippers. Although it takes a humpback whale far longer to reach full maturity, females nurse their young for about a year on average. Humpback whales attain complete maturity much later than that. Calves aren't fully mature until they reach the age of 10. Number two, bowhead whale. One of the few whale species, the bowhead whale, lives mostly between 60 degrees and 75 degrees north latitude in the Arctic and subarctic, areas that see seasonal sea ice cover. The bowhead whale is the largest whale and the one best suited to living in frigid waters. One adaptation to this habitat is an insulating covering of fat up to 1.6 feet thick. From the early years of the 1800s up until the early years of the 1900s, commercial bowhead whaling off Alaska was conducted. Bowhead whales were a popular target for whalers due to their slow swimming rates, high value oil and baleen, and propensity to float when dead. When commercial bowhead whaling finally came to an end in 1921, there were fewer than 3,000 bowhead whales left around the globe. Loss of food supplies, climate change, vessel hits, entanglement in fishing gear, ocean noise, offshore oil and gas development, pollution, and predation may still pose threats to bowhead whales today. Bowhead whale populations were much below historical levels due to commercial whaling. Before commercial exploration, there were at least 50,000 bowhead whales globally, with the western arctic stock the stock found in American waters, having between 10,400 and 23,000 whales. By the 1920s, commercial whaling had reduced global abundance to fewer than 3,000 species. Number 1. Sperm Whale Sperm whales can be identified by their enormous heads and distinctively rounded foreheads. They possess the biggest brain of any known animal that has ever lived on Earth. Additionally, they have spermatocyte in enormous quantities on the tops of their heads. Whalers once thought the oily fluid was sperm, but scientists still don't know what spermatoceti is supposed to do. The fluid, which when cold hardens to wax, is thought to help the whale change its buoyancy, which allows it to descend to great depths and then surface again. In search of squid to feed, sperm whales have been observed dividing as far down as 3,280 feet. These enormous beasts must hold their breath for up to 90 minutes on such dives. One ton of fish and squid are consumed daily by these toothed whales. Around Around 9 years old and about 29 feet long, female sperm whales become sexually mature. They produce a calf around 1 every 5 to 7 years as growth stops. A single calf measuring around 13 feet in length is born after a 14 to 16 month gestation. Although calves start feeding solid food before they can turn a year old, they nurse for many years. Around the age of 30, when females can grow to a maximum length of 35 feet, they become physically mature. Amazing. Did you ever imagine there were diverse species of whales? Which of the whales are you familiar with? Share your ideas about whales in the comment section below.